In this video, I am going to give you a quick tour of Kibana and Logstash. What you see is the front end, which is Kibana, but there is a back end service, which is Logstash, which typically is also a, a part of popular ELK, which is Elasticsearch, Logstash, Kibana stack, or similar stacks like EFK with FluentD and so on. Now, this is a very important observability tool, which not only helps you visualize your logs, but also extract a lot of information from it and visualize it. And you can see different types of dashboards, graphs, uh, you can you know analyze logs. It can also though, uh, can be extended to feed in different types of data. And you can actually build some business dashboards, which I'm going to demonstrate to you. Uh, and these are some of the, um, you know, sample dashboards, which are available with the sample data. One of that is for e-commerce uh, platform. Another is just a flight data. Third one is the sample web logs. And I'm going to show you what you can do with, let's say, simple log files. So structured logs is what you can, you know, feed into, you know, Logstash, uh, um, sorry, to Elasticsearch using Logstash or FluentD services like that. And once you feed into Elasticsearch, you can visualize things with Kibana. And this is a great example of it. Uh, this is for web traffic. And all of this data has been extracted from the logs. Isn't that fantastic? Because you can see, you know, uh, how many unique visitors you are receiving. You can, you know, filter down by countries. I have just selected a few countries here. And you can see the unique visitor number changing as I change the countries, as I change the operating system uh, from where this, you know, the traffic is coming from. So I can actually go and analyze everything, including how many visitors do I have? Which countries do they come from? Which operating systems are they using? When are they visiting my website? And not only this, we can also go and analyze the error logs and find out what problems happened when and uh, you know how many errors happened and so on and so forth you can analyze visualize anything and everything related from your logs and from other sources of data as well and you can create these interesting visualizations including scatter maps and heat maps um, you know there is um, there is a different type of a chart on the, ref the right hand side uh, there is a geospatial data and maps on, um, you know, on the left hand side that you see here. And I can actually zoom out of uh, on this map and go to a specific country and see how many visitors came from, let's say, India or China or any other country or any, you know, if you go zoom into a country, it will also start showing you the data related to the cities. Now, in this case, uh, the granularity of data is the country. But if I zoom out and go to a few other places like um, North America here, here I can see, you know, how many requests came from San Francisco versus Dallas versus uh, Atlanta and so on and so forth. And these dots and the size of the dots also tells me how many requests came from that roughly, you know, uh, in comparison with other sources other locations that is and this is one type of data and one type of uh, dashboard that you see here i'm going to show you a few more dashboards uh, this was for the web traffic and the data was log files uh, the other one this is more like a business dashboard that you can build showing you everything about uh, you know the transactions for your e-commerce platform how many transactions happened how many products were sold uh, what was the average sale price, uh, you know, average sold quantities, uh, the total revenues, and you can go back and look at the transaction, analyze those when, you know, you have users or when you have, you know, customers, um, you know, when the transactions happen, what kind of transactions, what kind of things you're selling, uh, your topmost uh, selling, you know, uh, items. Uh, and these are some lines of um, data which has been fed into Elasticsearch, which you can filter as well. I'll show you how to filter it in another, um, you know, part of this demo. So this shows the categories, um, who is buying what, when, how, for how much, uh, along with the timestamp data. 
and this is for the e-commerce platform the next one that I'm going to show you is the flight information flight data let's have a look at that too so if I go back to the dashboards and look at the flight dashboard and this shows me you know the data for all the airlines available here and I can filter from those I can look at uh, how many flights flights are operating what is the ticketing cost average ticketing cost how many got cancelled how many are delayed how was the weather and uh, you know everything about uh, that is being displayed here so you can build your dashboards which give you observability metrics based log based um, you know on this Kibana as a dashboard and the backend here is Elasticsearch so all of this is powered by Elasticsearch so you typically feed in the data to Elasticsearch and then you can analyze it here and this is how a data can look like this is extracted from a log file and this is typically a web server data so you can see the requests coming in based on the IP addresses uh, who's visiting uh, with which browser from which country so all of that can be correlated from this data uh, you can filter you can analyze each and every component here you can get a description a detailed description of each line item here All right, uh, I have a few clients, um, agents running for uh, collecting the data about the nodes and sending it to the Elasticsearch as well. So this is my cluster. This is how it looks like. I have four nodes. This is a Kubernetes cluster and I have an agent running on each of that node and that's what is being visualized here. Now, if I had uh, FluentD or Logstash running on each of this node, I would have seen the logs from each of those nodes as well which I don't see right now because I do not have those services configured and running now from here uh, this console this is a discover tab on Elas you know Kibana and from here I can look at the time series data and I can find out uh, certain information that I'm interested in for example this is for e-commerce uh, transactions and I can find out or filter uh, only the transactions which fall into the category uh, of uh, you know let's say men's clothing so that it filters down and now you see you know less number of transaction only specific transactions which are for that category and which is also been highlighted I can also slice it further by adding or and and or and you know uh, this is a query that you you know you can use here so I'm gonna say category should be men's clothing and the currency should be euro and there I see it almost the same set of data but I can also further add certain fields so you can see the fields and the values there the fields are the ones which are highlighted in blue uh, the yellow ones are from my query along with the yellow ones you can see the fields in blue let's say currency and category and customer gender for example so I'm gonna filter who has bought men's clothing but the customer should be female I think there would be very few transactions so we can actually see whether the filter is working or not so this time I'm gonna choose the customer gender as female and if I query that yeah there's probably just one transaction matching that so basically what I want to uh, emphasize here is you can slice and dice this data find out the exact you know um, uh, exact information that you are looking for and this could also be very useful for debugging system in, in system information using logs where you can find a specific type of errors and then visualize it and find out how many instances of this, those errors occurred and so on you can also create different types of visualization based on the data that you receive and I'll just show you a couple of examples here uh, this is a chart created with Kibana sample data flights. This is the flights information, and um, yeah, this is a this is a bar chart uh, created with that. Uh, I'll also show you maybe a pie chart created based on the airlines data. So sample data flights is what is being shown here, and um, from the observability point of view, 
Kibana, Elasticsearch, and other tools related to that could be extremely useful. And this was a very quick demo of how ELK or Elasticsearch, Lockstash, Kibana or similar tools work.